Enjoy. Hello, my name is Judy. I'm here in Canada and I'm about to cook something called Canada Glory Bowl. Uh, but I think we'll call it just Glory Bowl. <laughs> because whatever country you're in, I'm sure it will taste glorious. It's a combination of two recipes. One is the Glory Bowl sauce, and the other is the tofu jerky. So I'm going to begin, in, and we'll do several steps, but the first step is we're going to work with the tofu and turn it into tofu jerky for the recipe that we will have later. A word about tofu, any of you who have uh, are transitioning onto a vegetarian diet or have already made that transition, of course when we do that we meet tofu, maybe for the first time in our lives. Um, and some of us it might be an old friend. We may have had Asian friends and been exposed to tofu in the West. Um, but for me, tofu was not part of my life until I became a vegetarian. So I'm always looking for interesting ways interesting things to do with tofu. So today we're going to make tofu jerky first and then we're going to make a glory bowl sauce and make the bowl with the tofu jerky on it. This is going to take probably five minutes to get ready but it's going to be in the oven for six hours. So this is a two-part project. So we'll start now and then we'll come back when the tofu is finished in the oven. Here we go. So we need two firm blocks of tofu and you are going to need this is wood smoke hickory wood smoke it's got the flavoring of wood smoke and it's just a liquid that's come off of the steam of a cedar fire this is um, soy sauce a little bit of cayenne pepper a little bit of um, sugar i'm using organic sugar and a little bit of black pepper and that's all we need for this beautiful recipe. So how it begins is I'm just going to cut these tofu into very long and thin strips and I'm going to place them on this board here so, we can, so that they're sitting pretty close to each other but um, actually even touching. So you can see that the tofu is about maybe a quarter inch, maybe a half inch across. They're going to shrink. They're going to shrivel in the oven over time and they'll become uh, sort of a jerky format, which is a, a, um, a hard, chewy. That's my take a moment and have a piece stop while I'm cooking. Do these all until they're nicely in. They seem to be a bit tight and that's okay. It's actually better if they're tight. And I always have an extra block of tofu around just in case they don't fill the full pan, but it looks like this one will. And so that's how we begin. That one's a bit too fat, but that's okay. They'll work themselves out. And then this is tricky. So do what you can to make them all fit in the one pan. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. I might slide this one over. There we go. And uh, this one. Perfect. All right. So that's the first part. Now we're going to make the sauce that I'm going to pour over this and I'm going to marinate it probably for four or five hours. Tofu doesn't really absorb much, but sort of feels like it does. So that's the instruction. I'm going to begin with um, a half a cup of soy sauce. And then I'm going to do a third half a cup of soy sauce. Four tablespoons of this um, hickory smoke. If you've never used it, you find it in the, sometimes it's in the ketchup or the oil section of the grocery store, our local grocery store. 
Um, but in barbecue season, it tends to be gone very, very quickly. I don't know why, but two, three, four. So that's what gives it the flavor of being smoked, which is very nice. I'm gonna do an eighth of a cup of water. Oh, this is a quarter, I'll just do half. An eighth of a cup of water. And final ingredient, we do pepper. It's supposed to be a tablespoon. I'll include all of the um, ingredients and the amounts at the end of the video so you can see it all. And I like to put, oh, in a teaspoon of sugar. There we go. And I like to put cayenne because I like a little spice. So sometimes it's too much for others, but I love it. Half a cup of rice. That's it. Very easy. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it over the tofu. You can see so that every tofu gets some of it. And then I'm going to cover it with plastic wrap. It's a pretty strong smell in the kitchen, so hopefully you don't mind that. The sugar doesn't usually fully melt, so I just move it around in there. So that's it for our tofu jerky. But we're going to put it to sit now for the next two or three hours, and then we're going to put it in the oven. So I'll leave it like this for now and I'm going to pause and then I'm going to get all the ingredients ready for the sauce so that you can see how to make the sauce and I'll show you the other parts. So this is going to go sit on the counter for the next three, four hours and then I'm going to put it in the oven at the lowest temperature uh, which is 200 Fahrenheit here and I don't know where you are what that would be um, but I'll do the translation online. So, and I'll turn it every hour. I'll put the, the timer on and I will leave it in the oven and I will turn with tongs every hour. I will turn for probably six hours and I will show you what it looks like because it gets drier and drier and drier as it shrinks and the, the moistness is gone. And then you'll see at exactly the point where it's ready. Okay. Okay, so this is part two. We're going to make the sauce, the glory sauce that goes on the big bowl of rice um, with raw vegetables around it and our tofu jerky, which will be sliced very fine and layered on the top. You'll see at the end, but this is the second step now is I'll make the sauce. This is the glory bowl sauce. Um, most of us as vegetarians get pretty used to this, um, this thing called nutritional yeast because it's got a lot of B12 in it, and we need that in a vegetarian diet. So if you haven't had it before, it's very, very flavorful. It makes vegan cheese taste really good. Um, so we need a half a cup of this nutritional yeast. It's just little flakes, really. And a third of a cup of tamari or brags. I find a third of a cup each. I find that's really salty, so I usually do almost a third of soy sauce and a third of brags. And then we need a third of a cup of applesauce. This is a game of thirds, this one. And a full apple spider, a cider, sorry, apple cider. It really gives quite a strong flavor. And really healthy probiotic for us. And a third a cup of water. Okay. A third a cup 
cup of water. And then we need two tablespoons of peanut butter or tamari. And I like the peanut butter. So I'm going to do that. And I usually use a little bit more than um, two tablespoons. I usually just do a bunch. So you put in a bunch if you like. I probably have about three tablespoons in there. It makes it really creamy. So, and then our last ingredient, quite a bit of it, is olive oil. So a cup and a half of olive oil is going to make it very, um, very creamy and very smooth and very thick. And on a vegetarian diet, we tend to need to get oil through things like avocados and because we don't, especially if you're not eating a lot of junk food, you wouldn't be getting a lot of oil. And so this is a good oil to have. So that's okay. It seems like a lot, but it's really great. And then, oh, one more ingredient, ginger. We need two, we need probably half, it says we need half an inch. And when it says half an inch, I always understand that to mean an inch. So I usually put an inch, sometimes two inches, or sometimes just a big pile. And I like that when you cook. You just kind of do what feels right. And to me today, about that much feels right. It's probably an inch. I'm going to put that in, and I'm going to, um, I don't use the blender, I just use this little handheld thing, and I'm going to blend it all up, I'll save you the noise of that, but I'll show you what it looks like afterwards, because it's really smooth and lovely. So if I can pause you, I don't know how to pause, oh dear, all right then, um, I will see you later. So you can see how thick it is. It's a really nice thick sauce and uh, this will keep in the fridge. Put a nice lid on it. It'll keep in the fridge for a week to 10 days. So that's step two, making the sauce. And then the next step is cutting vegetables and getting the platters ready. But I'll show you that when the tofu is ready. So here I am, I'm about to prepare the uh, bits that will go on top of a beautiful bed of rice to make our glory bowl complete. And I'm just going to show you the kinds of, it's mostly the size that's important. We're just going to do shreddings of beautiful colored vegetables. So you can see here I'm doing spinach. I will get some flower, um, broccoli flowerets and make them as tiny as possible. Um, I'm making little shredded. You can see the capsicum is shredded and I will do the same. So I'd like to get some red. I've got a red capsicum and I'm gonna do red and orange and yellow, as many colors as you can get. And then coriander for the top. And I'm showing you this so you can see the size, how very small I am cutting them so that they will be like little, almost like sprinkles. I'm going to sprinkle these onto a bed of rice and make it look beautiful. And the tofu jerky will be one, will be the final aspect with the sauce on top. So see you tomorrow after the tofu jerky is cooked and we will construct this, we will construct this together. This is after two hours. I'm about to turn each one of them. Uh, you can see they're just starting to turn a bit brown. When you turn it over, you can see that the other one is a little bit lighter. So this is gonna go on every hour now for six hours at 200 Fahrenheit and every hour I will come and turn these.
So this is the third time turning. You can see how they begin to curl a little bit. And every hour, the turning flattens them and darkens the other side until eventually they're pretty shriveled little things, but it's tofu jerky. So that's what it's meant to be. So we'll do this again three more times, maybe only two. Let's see. I'll show you the finished product so you see what they look like. So this is our five. You can see how dry and kind of not quite crispy yet. They still bend a little bit, but they're pretty dark and they're pretty dry. And I think I'm just going to do, I might not even do one last hour. I might just turn off the oven and let them just sit in. Oh no, still got a little bit of white on them. So let me see, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna break one so you can see what it looks like inside because you want tofu itself to be, let's see if I can do this, break it inside and let you see what's there. So see, it's still quite white inside. So I'm gonna let that go. You can see here, it's starting to get dark around the edges. So I'm gonna let this go for another hour at the full 200 and um, see where we get with that. I think one more hour should be enough. So that would have been six hours turned every hour. It's a bit of an investment, um, but well worth it in the end. So here's the final form of the tofu. And I've got it on a cutting board and I've cut it up into little tiny pieces so you can see what it looks like inside. And over here we have a nice bed of rice and vegetables all around it. I'm going to add a little bit of sprouts on top, some fresh coriander, cilantro, and we will put these all over. And that, my friends, with the sauce is Canada Glory Bowl. Enjoy!